Okay, welcome to another episode of Planet Base. Uh, let's see. It's a little bit cold. Let me only warm up a bit for a second here. So, for you guys who aren't familiar with Planet Base, Planet Base is a sci-fi colony build em up city build em up whatever if you want to have. Uh, survival game where you have to try and keep your colonists alive in a harsh environment. In this case, a very deadly planet. Now, let's get started. <clears throat> in the last episode, uh, we managed to survive a blackout and a well, almost food shortage. I wouldn't say it was a real food shortage, but it was it was there anyway. Let's, let's put the alert back on. Yellow alert. Nobody come out. Everybody stay inside. Thank you. We also had a dust storm. Um, now, a dust storm isn't per se bad, as long as you keep your colonists inside. Uh, everything should be fine. You also generate extra power. Well, not extra power. You generate full power with your wind turbines. Uh, but because nobody can get out, you can't actually um, go outside and fix your wind turbines. So if they're in a bad situation, like right now, for instance, these guys are not very good. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. So I am also a little bit curious what's going to happen. Any kind of like stuff that you left outside, like uh, metal or in this case a bit of spare parts, is going to get damaged slowly but surely. <coughs> we'll get there in time, don't worry. As soon as this uh, little bit of dust shuttle settles a bit, then we'll get right back to building again. And what we need is another uh, power collector. So we're done. Oh, that's the wrong one. <coughs> no alert. Alert is off. Everybody can get back outside. Thank you. So can we get back to work, please? Let's let's remove the domes so we can see what the hell is happening. All right, here we are. Um, we have all of our guards. So do you have a gun? Yes, you have a gun. This is a gun-carrying colony. Let's let's see. Do you have a gun as well? Where's the other one? There should be one more guard walking around here. Where is... There he is. No, that's not a guard. Oh, there, there, there. Oh. Let's sit down already. Uh, there's one guard here. Another guard over here. And they both have a gun. So my guess is this third guard right here also has a gun. So we have a power collector built. That's great. It's going to be connected to the infrastructure. Excellent. So now it should start filling up. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> we are producing a lot less power than we are actually consuming, so that's not so good. <coughs> so I think we should also build another wind turbine right over, say, over here. That should get us back up on speed. And I want to keep... I want to secure our, our colony, so I'm going to also put down a little bit of a... Um, yeah, you can see I just destroyed the landscape here. So I'm going to put another connection here, so we get a little bit of a yeah a safety belt. So just in case something here breaks or a, a meteorite blocks or blows something up, then we don't, like, we don't lose half of our power. You can always get a bypass, which is what we want. So our water supply is nice and stable. We are consuming 10 and producing 11. Uh, so that's fine for now. But we will need to get... Um, we need to do something about that in a bit. I mean, consuming 10 and producing 11 isn't that great. <coughs> so let's see. We also have a bit of a power problem. Oh, there it goes. Now with our three solar panels up and running, uh, should be producing. We should be producing enough power to get this guy up and filled up. So now, let me explain a little bit about the technology of this stuff. This is actually uh, quite interesting. Uh, it's supposed to be molten salt. Molten salt that is. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's <laughs> that was close. Do you see that? <laughs> if we didn't have this. Bypass connection, and that thing would have been blown up. We would have lost these uh, these these machine these buildings here, and we would have lost uh, water. We would have lost our water tank, and that, that would have been a bit of a nightmare situation. Anyways, 
So salt is molten when there's enough energy and then is stored in a uh, building um, or in a tank and then is released when the power is no longer being produced and then with the uh, molten salt uh, power is uh, is once again generated it's quite it's not really that efficient i think it was like maybe 10 percent or something six percent but it's a way of uh, storing unused power from like windmills or from uh, solar panels and keeping it safe until it's needed uh, when there is a bit of a lull in power production. That's how that works. It's quite cool, I think. I think it's quite nice. Uh, the wind turbine has been built. We have more colonists. Let's see who it is this time. Alright, we have a biologist and another worker. Nah, don't be surprised. I've been expecting that. So, um, we're now up to quite a few workers. And I don't think we need that many. But we are running out of ores again. So, I think it's definitely time we built another mine. So, we get this up and running. We utilize our workers a bit more. So we have four spares and five medical supplies. I think I think we should get some more medics. <coughs> there we go. Some more medics. We can get ourselves a little bit more um, medication and possibly get some stuff to sell. Because it would be nice to have something to trade. We, we do have a lot of medicinal plants, so I think we could just put up a trader and see what happens, see who comes by. Maybe we can get some more coin and pass it to our witcher. That would be nice. Uh, okay, Let's see, this guy needs some more water, and that is something we have to build. We need another canteen. So the point is, we're going to put this canteen right here. And as soon as we have some more metal, because right now I think all of our metal is gone. What, this is, it's gone right through the freaking mountain. <laughs> I guess it's fine. All right, this thing is, this power collector, the large power collector is now full, which is great. That means we will definitely survive the, the, the winter, I mean the nights. Um, and with our increased capacity, we have three wind turbines and three uh, large solar panels, so we're building we're producing 300 kilowatts or we could produce 300 kilowatts right now at the moment We're just producing 197. It's also good. It's just not great Wind is just lying. It's just it's not blowing hard enough yet so We need to get it up up to speed There we go. It's a bit better Not that we need it. I mean, we're already at full capacity but it always feels good to have these guys spinning around. I mean, I don't have them here just to look pretty. <coughs> Which makes you think, really, because when you drive past wind turbines, they're always off. Unless, of course, you're a fisherman and you, walk and you sail past a whole bunch of these wind turbines in the middle of the ocean. Those guys are always on. <laughs> Anyways, I'm babbling again. <clears throat> Let's get back to the game. Now, uh, with these three mines, we should be producing quite a bit of ore. Um, as soon as we get a trader, we'll trade this this uh, medicinal plants, and we have a heck of a lot of bioplastic all of a sudden. Where does this come from? Okay, well, let's let's use some of it before it all disappears again. Excellent. Now we'll, that will be a lot of beds, so that will make everybody happy. What, what stages do we got? Where state is good? That's not so great. Why are we at good and not at excellent? See, there's somebody here sleepy. Okay. Uh, we can reduce the priority of this stuff. Let's reduce the priority of this thing as well. There's some more sleepy people over here. You guys need to sleep. And this guy is not happy. And this guy is not happy. The question is, why aren't you happy? They're going to the video screen, so... 
mm, they need some kind of entertainment. Uh, but they also need something to drink. So we have a whole bunch of food. Let's put down a bar. It'll make people happy. And it will also give them um, some relaxation and some water. We can also, of course, put down a drinking fountain inside of our bar, which is what we're going to do. As soon as we get our doctor settled, we need more medicine. We're at five and we have a capacity to hold 10. So it's kind of remarkable that we're not producing that. This is actually, oh, there's so many working here. This one's almost completed. Hmm. You'd expect better. <coughs> so our little doctor here is helping set some bone. I'm just digging around in that medication pack. Some heavy medication right there. Uh, these guys are really tired. They need to go to sleep. And we need to get the status up back to excellent again. So, okay, we can see here that all three of our guards are armed. Those of you guys who are curious, the three here means three guns. If we get more guards that don't have guns, we'll see the number of guards increase, but the number of guns will still be at three. Uh, so we will eventually have to start working on getting more uh, weaponry. So, are we at full capacity yet? Let's see... Well, no. <laughs> here, we've passed the halfway point. We can host 80 colonists and we have 47. It's great. We just need to get them happy. You know what I mean? They're just incredibly unhappy at the moment. This guy is very thirsty. A bar has been built. Good. Let's get this connection up. And then we can start making our moonshine. I, I'm, I'm assuming they make vodka. We have a lot of potatoes, I guess. Okay, let's see. We need a, a drinking machine. And we need a TV, of course. Drunk people need to watch TV. We also need to get a uh, fountain up in here somewhere. Let's put one over there. And we need a table. Now, the more efficient tables are these ones. There's a f three people. Let's put one, or let's put two down. And give another drinking machine and another fountain. And of course, we want to keep our people even happier. So we're going to put another TV right up in there. It's going to take up a couple of our bioplasts, but we have en en enough of that stuff anyway. <coughs> Look at them all. They're so eager to build their bar. Even the robot is happy. I wonder if these robots are self-aware. Alright, we have a machine up and running for drinks. And somebody's already coming here to fill up our alcohol producing machine. It's all good. All right, we have four iron again, four metal. It's great. That means we can once again produce something. Well, we need an additional, um, what do you call it? A canteen all the way over here for the people that want to eat on this side of the facility. So there isn't, there aren't that many people over here. So maybe we should put it somewhere else. This, th this is a chain of three buildings then. That'll be a bit... It's not a good idea. So, let's just... Yeah, let's put it over here. Connect it up like that. Alright, we have another trader and he has these three little stars on the side. What do you sell? Medicine, of course. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try and sell some medicine to this guy. I want five. Do you have? Yeah, just give me 70 coin. That's fine. 
Uh, why can't I? I can't see. Good. There we go. So we sell sold a whole bunch of our uh, medicinal plants for a bunch of coin. Should make some people happy. All right. Let's see. Are we back up to excellent? Yes. People are happy. And our uh, prestige is also pretty high at 117. So it's good. Now we haven't uh, really made the colony safe yet. Uh, this entire section here in the middle is impossible to make safe. There is no not enough space. We could move some stuff around, but we have a dead end cabin right here. It doesn't actually connect to anything. And we can't connect this together, so we can only connect these two. So that's what we're going to do uh, if once we have a little bit of stuff to actually waste. So we have 11 out of 12. That's that's a cutting it a little bit close. Let's let's go and make a, a little bit of a um, another water extractor. Just a big one this time. It's only it's only two metal. We have that or right, three metal with the connector up as well. So now that we have these two production facilities, this one and this one up and running, and uh, we have more than enough people to maintain them. Um, our resources are going to go up really fast and if we put up some more we should get up to the point where we'll have too many resources and we won't know what to do with it now obviously we're going to use it to build buildings <coughs> bigger and better ones so okay let's go back to the graph we are producing a heck of a lot of food Oxygen levels are steady. Water levels is also great. Power is also going up. Well, it's all good. <coughs> this is uh, this is a weird graph, but okay. <laughs> so what are we building here again? A canteen. Um, I want to build build a bigger canteen. I want to build this one. Let's go right ahead and build that. One. Cancel that and build that instead. Um, bigger is better. And the bigger we go, the better. Um, we seem to have everybody working. It's also good. This guy's a bit thirsty. Uh, we might have to put down another uh, airlock somewhere over here. It seems that people that are mining over here are not using this airlock, but are instead walking all the way around to this airlock. That's not very efficient. So I might have to do something about that. Chop the legs off or something. Okay. Anyways. Um, now that we have a reasonable steady income. I'm not talking about coins. I'm talking about metal and uh, bioplastics. Uh, we should be thinking about building a, another factory. <coughs> So that we can start producing the weapons that we need and the semiconductors. Semiconductors for trade and guns for eventually keeping our uh, our uh, nice little colony here safe. Now, these people have been walking quite a long distance to get here. I think we should put down another airlock in the neighborhood here. So should we connect that? Connect these guys up first? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So that will create a nice little uh, squared section. It will also make it a bit difficult to get in the middle here. But we don't need to go there. So who are we getting this time? Is it going to be another doctor? It's going to be three doctors. How much? What a bit? Ah, a doctor and a biologist. Okay. So now we have way too many biologists. We have 20. And I don't think all of them are working. I think we only need... Well, we need... Um, yeah, 12 there, 12 there, full time. So, yeah, okay, we're not completely off the hook yet, but we, we got, yeah, we got there real fast. So maybe we should, uh, if we want to keep these guys working, build another uh, bio uh, dome. In this case, this time it's going to be a big one. But we don't have any metal. Our metals just, poof, went away. Maybe because we're building this huge canteen. 
this huge canteen is going to feed everybody that's going to be working over here. So we're going to be putting another uh, production facility over here, a big one. And we're going to build a biodome over here, also a big one. So it's going to be a lot of people working here. So they're all going to be need to be need to be fed. And that's going to be in this big ass canteen. So now people, this guy seems to be sleeping. He's a biologist. He should know better. But we're still in excellent. That's good. Uh, this is our little uh, our little robot friend, RD, oh, sorry, DR3. <laughs> Trying to copy Star Wars there. Um, and he is punching away at that wall and generating enough ore for us to be happy. We need some more. If, if we could get more robots, that would be nice. Hmm, maybe, maybe it, no, it's not time yet. Nope, we need another factory first before we can even think of that. We're not producing enough, nowhere near enough chips. <coughs> we also need to produce way more iron than this. So we have s three mines. So um, theoretically, uh, we should be able to store or uh, house or keep three or uh, nine workers uh, active in these mines. And we have 17. So uh, what are the other eight miners or workers doing? I think they're just working on these things. Processing plants? Is that what they're doing? Hmm. I think we need more workers. So let's go ahead and uh, change this to back to. Yeah, let's put this 50-50. There we go. We need some. We need some more engineers anyway. Um. Currently, we have how many engineers do we have? We have five engineers. Okay, that's good. We need four to keep these guys up and running when we do put them back up again and uh, a couple of them to walk around and do repairs and build stuff especially when this guy kicks the bucket he's a kind of excellent integrity so that, that he will still be alive for quite some time to come uh here it comes oh, oh. why are you walking right past it rolling right past it Not what I wanted. Not what Are you gonna get trapped in this building? Oh no, he can walk right through it. That's fine. He's got clipping on. It's remarkable that he can just build a building just with a, with only with a uh, a welder. He only has one arm, and it's a welding tool. And yet, for some reason, poof. <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, we got one worker and two more engineers. That is definitely enough engineers for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and reduce this again. Let's increase the number of uh, guards that we want. We don't need that many medics, but we might need a little bit more in the way of guards. All right, there we go. There's the canteens up and running. And let's go and put some stuff in here. So we need a section of food. Gonna pile that up. We're gonna drink some more. There we go. And uh, let's go put some more uh, meal makers right on this side. And then we're gonna put down these big tables. We want people to be a little bit more sociable. Oh, this is good. So they'll be happy. Can we put this here? No, I don't want to put it in front of the gate. I mean the, the door. That would just block access. Can we put no I think we uh, we'll just leave it here. This this will be fine. It doesn't do much, it's just a nice plant. I mean it even says nice plant. So you're like like decorative plant, a nice plant. It doesn't actually provide much more than that. But it's made out of plastic. It's a decorative plastic piece of junk. 
So, in the future, we will have all this technology, these biodomes and everything else, to keep plants alive in, I don't know, in uh, close proximity. But we will also have plastic plants. All right. Okay, cool. That's the that's future we'll be looking forward to. All right, we have... Oh, it's good. Good. We have be, we've been using up our, uh, our resources. That's great. Not piling it up like crazy. And we're not hamstering it. So that's good. We just need to get more metal. Oh, this guy's hungry. We need more metal so we can actually build our humongous... Uh, food biodome. Can we get more metal, please? All right. Well, at least they're using up some of the space here. I mean, this uh, this material here, this food, it's going into these meal makers. So we should see in the graphs. Where's the graph again? F three. There you go. There's a huge spike in ready meals for all of our colonists, and this will keep them happier. Because they're already... Look at them. Look how social they are. This makes me happy. I can see that they're using the facilities I built for them. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, Poor Am Amberly... Amberly... Amberly Sanders. Poor Amberly Sanders is all alone. And Marty Barker is also alone. Yeah, well... <coughs> I wonder if they also have dentists. Hmm. If you break a tooth, uh, pickaxing through rock and stuff like that, because you bounce your pickaxe off some really hard piece of rock and it smacks you hard in the face, uh, do you go to the medic? Or do you get shipped back home? Hmm. So, we need two more pieces of plastic. And I think these are the guys that are going to be delivering. No, he's not. Is he? No, he's not. He's, he's going to bring it right here. You can see it right now. There he goes. All right, we got some more colonists. Two guards. And a worker. No, one guard and a worker. One guard and a worker. That's fine. It's good. So that means we have space for another gun. <laughs> Now, you want to fill this place up with guns. That's something that you just simply want to do as soon as possible. <clears throat> now, next thing we want to do is build a telescope. This will de detect incoming disasters and also allow us to detect when or if uh, a storm comes. So we can preemptively uh, warn our colonists and get them inside uh, before danger strikes. So that's something that is really handy and quite useful to have. So I want another airlock. I want it right here. Can I get that? <coughs> Thank you. So this airlock will allow access to the um, to the to the machines over here, and it will it won't block us as we develop in this direction because we want to move these three buildings and stretch our colony in this direction so we can get into this open field. So you see all this open space there, there, and there. That's perfect for more buildings. That direction is a little bit less open, so, uh, but it's more than enough space for all of our uh, energy producing facilities. So we'll, we'll keep this space open for more of this stuff, but we want to keep that, all of that goodiness, open for our colony, which we will need if we want to get to 300 colonists. So let's see. We need three iron and three plastic to get this airlock built. Are you guys slacking off again? No, he's not. Now, as you can see at the moment, 
A lot of the materials and so on are being shipped and moved around by our colonists. Now, they might be uh, quite good at moving stuff around, but it's not very efficient. These guys move slow. And while they are moving stuff around, they're not working. So, uh, you don't really want that. So, uh, as soon as we get our third production uh, facility up running, the big one, uh, it'll be time to start making robots. And especially carrier bots. Carrier bots are what we need, because this, no matter how incredibly enthusiastic he is, just can't compete to a carrier bot. Carrier bots work, <laughs> roll, sorry, uh, 10 times faster than a, uh, a colony work, uh, co uh, a colonist can actually walk, and they can get to places far faster, especially when we have this much spread. And if we want to build, like, for instance, a, I don't know, a solar panel or something, all the way out here, uh, having a colonist walk from all the way over there, and you can even, can you even see it from here? <laughs> Just okay. All the way over to here, to get something built or to deliver a piece of whatever. Uh, say it's a medic, and somebody gets hurt. That medic that's walking all the way over there gets a, uh, a command to heal this guy, but it's going to take him an hour to get back. In the meantime, this guy dies from radiation poisoning. You know, that's not very efficient. You don't want to, you don't really want that. You want... That was loud as hell. You want them to walk as little as possible. You want them to be lazy, fat little colonists. So what do we get? We get one measly guard. That's all we get. It's not very nice. What did we ask for again? Workers. Oh. This is okay. It's, it's good. It's good. It's not not excellent. It's good. Then then you can expect only one guy jumping off that plane. I get that. I get that. I mean, if you go to McDonald's and you get, I don't know, a burger that's just just good. Uh, you're not gonna be happy. You want a burger that's excellent. You know, I mean, or Kentucky chicken or wherever kind of junk food you get your shit from. I mean, you want to have a good beer? Or you want to have an excellent beer? So I get it. I get it. So we need to do something about this. Trouble is that it's night. People are tired. People are sleeping. Takes a little while before they're... Uh yeah, look at this guy. He's drinking. And he's gonna wobble back to bed. And sleep. Drunk ass off. It's a biologist. <laughs> he probably brewed this stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, we have, we're back up to four. That's good. Now, that gives us a little bit of something to play with. So, do we want the processing plant or do we want the biodome? Let's see, how much are we producing? Food is going really well. Wait, we can't see that. Why not? Why isn't it showing this? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's, that's meat. Ah, stupid. Pressing the wrong button. Vegetables. Vegetables is going up big time. So, that's also good. And is this a tech ship? No, it's a, it has a little bit of a planet thing on the side. Oh, it's just random stuff. All right, let's see. Does he have a oh, driller bot? No, it's a constructor bot. Uh, do we want the pattern for colossal power panels? No, not really. We don't need it at the moment. Uh, what do we need? We have beer ready. We have six beer. Uh, we don't need a semiconductor. Uh, do we want to sell stuff? We don't have many medicinal plants and we don't really have anything else to sell. So, no. Sorry, buddy. Bye-bye. Let's turn that off. We don't really have anything to sell anyways. It's just a waste of their time to come back down here. 
Uh, we don't have many um, cabins on this side. So we need to change that. We don't have to have this miserable little one here. That probably has a, uh, in every single one of these beds, a butt imprint or a hip imprint. Because these guys sleep on their sides a lot. Hmm. I'm not sure if that's an effective way of sleeping. Doesn't your arm get really tired after a while? I don't know. So we're back, we're up to five uh, metal and five plastic. So that should be enough for a big processing plant. So do we want we want this processing plant right here? Come on, come on. There we go. And can we also put a bio dome over here? Yes, we can. Will this work still then? Let's see. No, that will not work. That's too bad. So then uh, we can't put the bio dome here and also the processing plant there. So let's remove this. Let's put the processing plant uh, like so. I think this is a good position and then we'll have space to put our biodome right like that and then we'll connect it up in this fashion like so and like that so let's cancel that we don't have enough materials for that yet but we do have enough for that so the processing plant is what we are going to be building it's gonna be a third processing plant but we'll, it's a big one so that makes us makes it uh, possible to put more machines in there uh, you could go for dedicated processing plants like you could say okay I want only uh, metal processing plants in this thing and I want only plastic processing plants in this thing it's perfectly possible and it's perfectly viable it's just that I, I, I'd like to mix it up a bit just make it a little bit fun for my workers you know <clears throat> so it's, it's quite busy let's actually check what is going on inside this, this is a quite a busy m intersection inside of our biodome to see all these people moving up and down delivering stuff so this is what the future looks like people <laughs> get used to it if corona doesn't go away we'll be living in domes pretty soon anyway domes made out of masks this is going good we're producing far too much power but that's what you want. You don't want just enough power. You don't want a measly little trickle of power. That would take forever to, to fill up these power collectors. And they drain really fast. So what you want is that you want to be able to uh, empty out all the, the power collectors if necessary in an evening without going into blackout. And then you want to be able to fill them up, all of them, in one... Uh, day before the night falls and that's the kind of balance that you want that would be a perfect situation but it's really difficult to get that situation so here we are in our not finished construct and we can see our little robot Welding away. How does he weld plastic with an arc welder? Hmm. It's a magical machine. Alright, here comes the connector. And that should give us... Uh, we have a lot of ores. Uh, we have a bunch of starch. So we might as well just go ahead and once again just plop down a... A mixture of both machines so that's that, that's basically that half of this of this uh, facility uh, is equivalent to this entire dome here that's, that's great 
Right, we're not not close to these hills yet. We want to eventually get close enough to build no additional mines over here. That's what these hills are for. So you can put mines in them. All right, so this this is going well. We're we're full up in power. We're comfortable in uh, in the amount of food that we're producing, and we are definitely comfortable in the amount of water that we have. Although, although, yeah, it's still full. It's still full. It's still full. It's good. It's still good. So what do we get this time? We got one guard, one worker, and this guy's walking off into the distance. Hey, Lone Ranger, where are you going? Dante. Oh, he looks like a Dante, doesn't he? I like you, Dante. You've got a cool name. So we're producing a lot of materials here. And later on, a lot of food. So where do you want to store that food? Not in here i hope or not also not in the biome uh in the dome that you're actually producing the food you want to store it in a storage facility so we'll have to build as soon as we have a uh the big biome uh, biodome here we want to build a storage facility over here uh so that we can store all the food that we're producing here over here So are these things all full? Yeah, they are. It's good. It's good. All right, nobody's working here yet, but that's because it's evening and everybody's sleeping. Um, that will change as soon as they wake up. There should be a bunch of them come over here. It will be as popular as the facilities over here because, well, these are closer to airlocks and to the mines. And of course, there's, a, there's more bustling and uh, movement over here and for some reason they like to congregate uh, close to each other that's still quite quite good All right, we have 11 medical supplies that's more than I had actually asked them to produce see I said 10 and we also have 11 spares that's because um, well we have two workbenches and yeah well they finish up in time that's what you get. So we have some space to uh, set up, so get some more um, semiconductors. That's what we're going to do right now. We're going to pump that back on again, turn the puppy back on, and build some more, make some more guns. Well, ask first semiconductors and then guns, okay? Let's keep it in, <laughs> in, that, uh, in that order. Okay, we have space, we have materials now enough for the big bo big dome. So let's go and plop that down. Let's get everybody up and running. And as soon as this thing is built, we'll move, uh, we'll have a whole bunch of these biologists and stuff that start working over here. So we'll also need to put some uh, sleeping quarters for them. So um, my guess is the best thing we can do for right now is to put an additional dead end um, cabin over here. Since we're going to be building uh, uh, mostly power plants and power supply material uh, buildings on this side anyway, uh, this is going to be, a, we're not going to expand the living quarters of our colonists in this direction. So it's, it'll be a good idea to put a dead end building on this side. This is what we're going to do. <coughs> oh look, we, are, we have our first worker in our brand new squeaky clean processing plant. Excellent. Nope. We want to put the power. Everybody back inside. This party is cancelled. Drop what you're carrying. Come on. Get in. You can do it. It's just a door. Oh, there's our driller bot. He's in excellent condition. Anybody else still inside? Nope. So this is what I'm talking about. If we if we had a little bit more uh, a warning time, we could have gotten everybody inside, and nobody would have gotten in any kind of danger. Say, for instance, that somebody was way out here, huh? an engineer or whatever, or even a robot, even was sitting out here 
pulling stuff together, maintaining one of these things. And then we had a sandstorm. We didn't have enough warning. Then he had to go through the sandstorm, get damaged, get broken, and finally make it back to the plant and then get need repairs anyway or medication if he makes it because there is a possibility that he'll just I don't know he'll get he'll die these guys aren't like 100% smart they do stupid stuff too so yeah we'll see what happens so anyways uh, I think this is how the last episode also ended right <laughs> with a sandstorm so I'm gonna guy I'm gonna thank you guys for watching my episode I hope you liked it if you did leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike it helps um, either way and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode bye bye